Hey, this is Chris Menard. I had a great Microsoft Word question. Somebody wants to build a sort of table in Word, which is easy, but then they want to build a filter of the table. Filtering a table in Word is not possible, but here's a workaround. So I've got a one-page Word document. I've already put a table in here, so when I click inside the table, up in the ribbon it says Table Tools, and I have Design, and I have Layout. I'm going to stay on Layout. Notice in my table that the first row is in bold. That is my header row. So over in the data group, I'm going to select sort. In the sort dialog box, it says that my table has a header row. I'm going to sort this table by state, then by city. Both are ascending. So when I click OK, I should get California first. I do. California and then San Diego before San Francisco. So that is working. It doesn't matter when I'm in my table whether I'm on the layout tab or the design tab. There is no filter. So here's how you can get around that. I'm going to leave this table and the next table I'm going to pull from Microsoft Excel. So here is my Excel file. It goes from column A over to H. I'm going to do a control A and then I'm going to copy it, right click and copy. I do want to point out because I have a lot of data going across it, back in Word I'm probably going to use landscape instead of portrait. So I'm in Word, I'm still on page one. To put in a portrait page is layout, breaks, section break next page. So now I've got two portrait pages. But now I can go to Orientation and make Page 2 Landscape. Page 1 remains Portrait. I'm going to paste the table, but I don't want you to just paste it. When you right click, here's the trick. We went to Excel and copied it. You either have to use the third icon or the fourth icon. Both start with the word link. I'm going to pick the third one. So there is my table. Here's how you can tell that it's tied to Excel. When you click inside the table, the fields become have a gray background. Back on the table on page one, when I click in here, there is no gray background. So I'm back here. I'm going to right click inside the table. Linked worksheet object, because it came from Excel, and I said link. I'm going to edit the link. I'm back in Excel. It pulled up automatically. Data, filter. I only want to see, I'm making this up, California. When I click OK, it changes in Excel, but it also immediately changes in Microsoft Word. So there's my table showing just California. Let's test it one more time. Back in Excel, Advertising Source, I only want to see Google Ads for California. I'm down to three records. I'm in three records in Microsoft Word. So that is how you can filter a table in Word is to link it to the Excel file. It's important to know that if that Excel file goes away, I tested this, your table will still be in Word but whatever is the last way you left it, that's what you're going to see. So make sure you keep up with that linked Excel file. Hopefully that helps. Have a great weekend. Thank you.